Hello and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. He has truly lost his injury to mad. Oh, the game is paused. I didn't realize. Okay, now we have two options. Right. Like, can't we take the biggie with us? What's the biggie doing? We have the option of living by this door. And oh, oh, oh. Ah, I see. So fast mode is like that. Okay, so. That's not something that has to be used at all times. Good to know. I, I should have known that. I should have known that before, yeah. Wait. Uh, uh, oh. I see. <laughs> I thought this was to the exterior. And no mind then. Apparently I completely misread the situation. So it's completely fine for us to live from here. I was under the impression that uh, we were experiencing a situation in which, you know, our uh. fine people were experiencing something different. Four figures stand before an otherworldly apparatus, an ancient structure of chiseled atra and metallic veins, ominous and looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in their midst is what appears to be a human body, colorless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon it in what might be contemplation. From your vantage point you are well obscured from their view. The figure closest to the machine stands out amongst them. A thick grey beard, beard frames a face otherwise beneath a metallic mask. His faded robes are embroidered with a runic language unlike anything you have ever seen and he wears a strange black headdress with two protrusions that jut out like the wings of some malevolent creature. Oathbinder bear witness and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother? in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw, step forth and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. Oh, I did not see the fourth figure, so I was wondering what the f who the fourth figure was supposed to be. Right then. For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet and the air is still. Then all at once it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision and you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land and pain wells into the back of your skull, washing your lots, last thoughts away into the black unconscious void. You open your eyes to a different place. Another time. You stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with adra and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. At the far end of a great pillar, no, at the far end a great pillar of adra pierces the floor from below, its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you have just seen, but immense and multifaceted and intertwined. Your thoughts are yours and not yours, and they seem to exist before you think them, and they are, and they are all questions, pressing questions, troubling questions, questions that must be answered or, or... At the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick grey beard in ceremonial robe, crowned with a strange ornamental headdress. You know this man, you are walking toward him now, at the base that is hurried while trying not to appear so. You have something you want to ask him, one question above all, and the questions spins madly in your mind. Six. 
Seriously? You awaken to find your malaise has broken only to be replaced with something far more concerning. Faint whispers are audible at the edge of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flits through your periphery, but when you turn to look, you can see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that and involuntarily paranoid tick. If this is a sickness, it may be dangerous to go without treatment for long. The figures at the machine stand frozen in place, flesh and blood replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Hilden and Kalisa lie bloody on the uneven gobbles, their bodies twisted unnaturally in death. You are alone and far from help. Get it well, may be your best hope of receiving treatment before things get worse. Oh no, they died. I cannot say. I, I didn't like that idea. Wait. Wait, 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 what did they do? Um, you know, just get in there. Cool. Sure, huh? Oh, I picked up everything. Alright, inventory. And also open the stash. Because... That's a lot of stuff. Well, my character can't wear helmets, so... I'll just leave it there for now. How large is this stash? Is it just unlimited in size? That can't be right, right? Wait, what's this? A simple iron hammer and chisel useful for chipping away at hard surfaces, particularly ones that display structural weakness. So, could I have used that instead of having someone else push it? Theoretically, just throw the helm here as well. Um, and where's the misc stuff? I'm gonna take, take, take these lockpicks with me. I'm gonna carry those on me. And I guess a torch. That sounds wise as well. Alright, uh, what else do we have here? Lots of lots of stuff. Permanent, nothing useful. Is this the missing? Uh, those, those are quest items. Scaldra meat is a quest item. Alright, um, also we leveled up, I think. Uh, how do I... How do I put forth this? Oh. You can change those at any point. Nice. Mm. Right, how do we level up? Oh, like this. Dun 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 dun. Look at that cloak. At the moment, movement speed I'm using, it's clipping in itself. Dun 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 dun. Video games. And through the character as well, of course. Okay, I have six points you can use. So, revival allows characters to make better use of the food and potion items they find. The higher the character's survival skill, the longer the duration of such items. Survival can also be used in conversations and scripted interactions that involve wilderness cha challenges or specialized information. Traps and locks can be a problem for even the toughest adventurers, training their resources and maiming or killing those who are unfortunate enough to trigger an unseen floor plate. The mechanic skill makes it easier to open locks and find and disable traps. Additionally, any character can use the mechanic skill to place traps of their own. The higher the mechanic skill, the more accurate the trap. In conversations and scripted interactions, mechanics can be used to activate or disable a variety of machines. Um, you know. Just a little bit of that, right? Get the cheapest stuff first. This Huh. Do we want to use stealth? At any point? Now I think I'll do a little bit of athletics just to ensure my further survival because, you know, it's useful. Yeah. Okay, no new class unlocks. Talents. What are these? 
through its knowledge of the forces of nature allows him or her to automatically inflict additional burn damage when spirit shifted. Through its knowledge of the forces of nature, it, that's a lot of talents. Okay, that's a lot of, that's a lot of talents. It's a lot of talents. All right. Uh, okay. So these are uh, what help in the ways of being a sh stag, a real stag, kind of like a stallion, but just really mo a lot more horny. Uh, wait, yes, it's true. Uh, well, antlery, I guess. Then this. Apparently, this is a sneak attack. What's this? Ah, so it allows for more what? These are a lot of things. This char what's this? But this is an aura thing. The character's intense beliefs have manifested as an aura with properties similar to a paladin's Zilla's focus. Oh, is this suffering? Unarmed damage. Huh. What's this? Similar to a barbarian's tremendous range, uh, rage even. I'm on per rest. What's this? Two per rest. Um. What is ah ah? What's oh 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 yes yes. I think this sounds pretty nice. Yeah, let's pick that. Of course, there's still these utility things. Move speed. So, let's quick switch. Hmm. So there's a lot of options to choose from and I don't really know which one to pick, but I will think I'll just go with Veterans Recovery for now. And I guess that means we're done leveling up. Hmm. You only get the biggie as our ally now. Yeah, that's a lot of XP until the next time. Okay. Um. Alright then. It appears this uh, ritual that was in place here has not done well for our character's mind for now. Um. Did I just. Okay, took vessel flesh. Nice. Can I take more vessel flesh? I have no idea what I can do with vessel flesh. I'm gonna take all of the face of flesh. Uh, is that ghost just gonna remain there forever? This massive structure is formed of stone, adra, and copper, and uncovered and covered in strange glyphs. The air around it vibrates with an unusual energy. I think we already saw that text at some point. Oops. That's a plant. That's them. Um Is this something I'm not seeing or is it just a matter of me having made too large a text box and I can't move anywhere now? Or is it just a matter of me being able to go there now? That appears to be the case. Okay. Let's travel then. <sighs> Alright, a new area, a new corpse. Doing city loot. Because you know, we need those camping supplies. 
Uh. Oh, it's nice that items are being get added straight into that stash. Um, you're not an opponent, are you? No, you're just another ghost on the side of our mind. Not a fan of that lot, really. I suppose they don't appear to be doing any harm right now. Now, this seems like a dangerous path. Let's take it. Is this scouting world? Yeah, it is. We don't need to scout. We have what it takes to beat the worst of odds, since we have the ability to... Uh, uh. Was this a loot corpse? I thought it was. Sure. But anyway, as I was mentioned, trying to say, we are able to do the damnedest of deeds, for we can turn into a giant stag and be a badass as a giant stag. Now look at it. Look at it. Just in the mall. Let's go. Like, no problem. Really, come on. I said no problem. Come on, we can get them all. Right? Apparently that is not the case. Let's go. We may be in trouble. Let's go. Okay, Let's maybe, go. maybe Let's we're not go. in trouble, but... Let's wait, go. why did they get shifted back? Hmm. That's... that is odd. Uh... Spears. One-handed spears. Interesting, a lot of options, I guess. Uh, let's give it a try. Instead of a two-handed axe, we're gonna have... This is something going for us. Uh, which shield is better? No difference. In that case, I'm gonna use this one. Or no, this one looks better, I guess. No. This one looks bigger, so, you yeah, know, that's what we're gonna try. The swords and supports are large enough to be reefs and vertebrae of a dragon. Ooh. Another hat. Which we cannot use. Huh. So, is this all the rest of this place? Just some loot? Just small signs of loot. There's a cave here. I probably don't need to go into the cave right now, so let's go into the cave right now. See how that works out for us? That set probably is poorly. That's a bear. That's okay, I'm a stag. Um, I don't really think... Oh. Yeah, never mind. Okay, load that auto save. Sure. Let's keep this entire cave mess for now. And pretend it never happened. Sounds like a plan. You're right, then uh No need to have Sure. Uh, no longer need to have the game post. Okay, so that's another way to Oh So that's how it works. Alright, uh More wide knife? Let's let's more fighting as a big bloody stag. I think we have the bonus endurance here. It seems handy. Oh, more spirits. We will simply despawn as soon as we walk up to them. I guess I can't claim them. I will too if I was dead. Uh, let's see now. Uh, huh. Let's take a small look over here, if there is anything over here. Right next to the bridge. Since there isn't, let's go over the bridge. There is a tent, which most likely includes 
Some sort of fate. Well met, friend. This man appears to be hurriedly dismantling his camp in quick, jerky movements. He looks up as you approach, his expression tense and prone. Greetings, he says, a little breathless. On your way south, is it? The sooner you're clear of these woods, the better, I think. Uh, I'm only passing through. I mean to reach Gilded Vale. If it's the right way, you should be too much further. There's no missing it if you keep to the road. Thank you. But you must be keep clear of this place after that. I we were just attacked north of here. Me and a friend of mine. We came out here to hunt some deer. Came up on a bear instead. Great monstrous thing and barely he didn't make it. He just said. I don't know what that devil is wife. Oh, so that's what the bear was. In any case, this forest already cost me a friend. I'm heading home before it takes anything else. Where did you find this bear? In the cave of ways up that way? He turns to point to the northwest. I won't seek it out if I were you. It is a great brute of a beast. Would hate to he would hate to hear that it took another life. In any case, is yeah, yeah, okay. Who are you? Name's Nonton. Born and raised in Gilded Vale. Haven't had a spot of luck since. And luckier than Pearly, I suppose. What happened to your friend? We didn't see it coming. We were following a stag. Pearly, he saw something in the brambles and we went tearing off after it. We all but stumbled into the cave. Poor Pearly didn't stand a chance. The bear was on top of him before we knew what was happening. Okay, see you around. But yeah, that bear, nasty business, that bear. Well, let's not, you know, touch it on the penis. It's not gonna be great. Whatever you may have heard. Oh, hello, another wolf. I'm gonna see what happens if I. Try to fight as. Uh, okay, never mind. Let's go. That's a silly idea. I did currently. Uh, okay, Let's... never mind. I was kind of proposed that it would probably be wise to use. Let's go. Wait, why did they get this one? Let's go. What's going on? Let's go. Why did I revert Let's go. back? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Right, disengagement attacks. Uh, okay, uh. Let's go! Let's go! Can you res resist? Oh. Remind me to save more often. Oh, apparently the chickpeas. Shattered pieces of great are strewn across the dirt along with a few muddy vegetables. Grass is still flattened behind the wagon's wheels. Sparrows of cabbages, potatoes, and squash have been overturned and abandoned. Quick save does work, so let's do that more often. Okay, giving these wolves another attempt. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Let's go. Let's go. And I expect to see this attack thing actually working now. Yes, it does. Cool. Now actually hit the enemies, please. I get it. Let's go. That failed me again. What do we have that uh, is able to destroy them? Lightning? Let's go! Let's go! Can I switch to the twin axis? Let's... Let's... Just maybe... Maybe it's more effective. By the looks of it, it is more effective. Than the spear and shield combo. Because we actually seem to be hitting the enemy. Which of course is very handy at times. Alright. Take these heights. Lots of heights. Alright, endurance has been restored, but same can't be said for our health. It doesn't look too bad. Looks like we can't enter these ruins proper.
Oh, an outlaw. Have you met the stag before? Like this giant sort of stag that can do hit you. What do you have? You have an open helm, some more leather armor, small shield, sword. Uh, Actually, the sword is pretty good, but the hatchets are faster, so... You know what? I'm gonna keep these dual hatchets for now. Because these do seem so nifty, so nifty, and so nice. The young dwarf tending to the stew looks up, startled as he sees you approach. He drops his ladder, spread and stew across the ground. What? Get him, you dogs, and make sure our new cook don't run off. Help, please, help! Okay. So we're into more bandits. Except it's kind of problematic because... I can't handle wolves. Much less bandits, I suppose. Can I cast a spell while I'm doing this sort of thing? I can. So I'm not entirely sure how wise that was. Okay, now I'm back to being in this sort of situation. What does this do? Oh right. Let's go. Let's go. I forgot about the pledge. Seems to be handled, I think. Okay, what sort of a spell can we use? Let's go. Let's I think go. I'm gonna go for this bandit now. Which probably means that the bandit can get like a bonus to attack me from behind or something. Yeah, I, I'll be fine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm completely fine. Uh, how much left do we have? I'm gonna guess not a lot. And honestly, I'm afraid this may be another one of those deathly situations. Let's go. This guy has really good armor. What's my health doing? Is there anything I can do to make it so I also restore health? At times? Can I just, you know, go fast mode with this? No, apparently not. That's a lot of damage reduction on the past. No, this is not really doing anything. How's our health? Other than there's not a lot of it, I mean. I only see endurance here as the numbers. Well, endurance wise, we're winning. But, you know, that's that's beside the point. It's, it's just a silly situation. Come on. Stop hitting me. Let me hit you. What determines exactly how bad I am at hitting people? Is it the fact that I'm wearing two axes? What if you use... Well, well, okay, of course it can't be used. Okay, fine. Try not to die on me, okay? There we go. Glorious victory. <laughs> Extremely glorious. Um, I'm gonna take all of that. 
And then I'm gonna use my stash to see exactly what sort of things did I get. Because this looks like a different... Oh, that looks like a much fancier set of leather armor. So it's the same thing, just... Wait, is it the same thing? Uh, recovery speed minus 30%. Well, that's that goes for all of these. Like, it seems to be related to exactly how much damage reduction you get. Basically. Can't use a hood. Alright, so... Suppose that's it then. Uh, unless... Wait. No. What? Did you get something that makes us steal more damage now because... Huh? Okay, I'm confused. Let's just stick with me being confused and say that's enough. Ooh, we can actually switch out one of these axes for a bigger one. And that's with an average... ...speed. I think that's okay. Only hoping that we actually hit things. Yeah. That seems to be the biggest issue right now. Um, Alright then. Mm -hmm. Let's get some of those vegetables. Delicious veggies. A rod. Rods are the largest of the magical implements. Can be distinguished from ones and skeptics by the heads on each end. A rod's focus and release more solar energy than ones or scepters. This attribute makes the blows more powerful, but they recharge and fire more slowly. Can I use those? The dent is empty, but for a pair of stained gods and the stinks of unwashed bodies. I wanna see. Uh, right, never mind. You get back in there. You, you get in there. I just want to see how that works at some point. Except now is not that point because we still hurt real bad. Welcome! By the flame! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! I thought I'd be stuck cooking for these ignorant reasons for the rest of my life. Or until they were bored with me, I suppose. I must get back home. I only hope they haven't hired a replacement. The dwarf looks aghast. Listen, next time you're in Gilded Vale, stop by the Black Hound Inn. I'll let Pasa know just what you've done for me, and I'm sure she'll do right by you in turn. I have earned a reputation. Oh, the back at my oven again. Oh, neat. Um, before anything. Yes. Alright, we had... We deactivated the wellspring of life? What's the wellspring of life? This is the direction we started out from, right? Yeah, okay. But let's get, head back to those ruins the wolves were in. And see if we can find a way up there. It's looking a lot like, no, not from this direction, but, uh, same goes for any other direction. It's just a tease. It appears to be meant only to distract us from the goal at hand. Oh, where does this go? Oh, we can get straight into Gilded Vale from here. Do we want to try the bear again? Probably not. We haven't dinged or anything, have we? No. Um. This is still just to kill it very much. Yeah. Okay. Um. No, that's not how. Me. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Now let's just head to kill it then. Yes. 
How much faster does one Steady move? does it. That's a fair bit slower. Would this still see my ghost pig? Uh, my space pig, I mean. My giant miniature pig. Let. Oh, hello. Huh. This is this town's a nice punch. You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. A man approaches you, his skin is dull and grey as the desolate village behind him. Huh. Do you welcome everyone this way? The only answer here is the buzzing of flies from the tree. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever sired a hollowborn child? I am a god like. or whatever you call it. I am. F sterile. I don't make babies. No. Are you absolutely certain? Lord Raderick has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. You know... His lordship's wife is with child and due any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. Uh... I've been feeling strange ever since a close call with a biowak. Is there someone in town who could help? Whatever your problem, it sounds like a matter for an animancer. However, the only Animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Consider yourself fortunate. After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. But if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. A very kind gentleman. Thank you. You said something about Hollowborn and Vaden's legacy before? I forget that you foreigners do not have this curse in your homelands. The Hollowborn have been a scourge upon the Tarwood for almost 15 years now. Children born without souls. Pitiful dumb things that breed barely, but do not truly live. Some say the Hollowborn are a disease, some say they are punishment from the gods. In truth, no one knows, but they began spreading after the Saints' War, and so the name Baden's Legacy stuck in honor of that foul blasphemous pretender. Uh, before I got here, I saw several people conducting a strange ceremony near some ruins. You'll want to mind where I mention that. Trespassing on any beautiful ruins is illegal, not to mention dangerous. You probably saw someone attempting some new ritual to appease the gods, but we're trying anything these days. Bear of have mercy, we certainly have. I don't think so, just as they finished there was a biowack. If you've been that close to a biowack, you wouldn't be standing here. Keep out of... Listen! Hey, listen! Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill-timed. Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. What do you mean? 
You come to us at the time of mourning. The legacy has struck at the heart of Gilded Vale. Our efforts to redeem ourselves in the eyes of Perath must be redoubled. What happened? I will know more details when the messengers arrive. The vagaries of childbirth, perhaps, but that is not your concern. Does this affect the Lord's offer to the new settlers? I can be sure of nothing right now. I advise you to get some rest, the inn or a stable for our care. Find me afterwards. I will know more soon enough. Oh well. Okay. How do I go digging for shit? You know, this outfit doesn't look as good in that whole brown, bright, bright brown thing. Oh, but that outfit only is in that bright orange. Um, okay, never mind. That is looking red. Oh, what dark green. No. Okay, never mind. Stick with that then. Whatever tone we were using. Let's go with the dark brown. And for the other, the less dark brown. That's fancy powder instead. Yeah, pre battles does mean bad news, apparently. You see four people gathered by the door to the inn. They raised. The raised voices and chopping chests suggest an argument reaching its climax. The first figure raises his hands for calm. His face is partially obscured by a hood, but his height and stature suggest an elf. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. What's going on? Mocking us even while his shelter is in our village. Just goes to show you what these fancy idea manners are worth. We don't take to that kind of treatment, not from foreigners, especially not from Adrians. Go on, say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Fie, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cocksfeather! I'll cut that barrel looking tongue out of your head. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say. Whatever it is you think I said, we've nigh quarrel. Uh. That's where you're wrong. This is unnecessary. Would you rather be inside drinking than out here arguing? We don't want your charity either, Forna. Sounds suspiciously like you're defending him. Whoop. Well, I'm suspicious of thinking that this might be a future companion I could use. Oh shit! Holy shit! Holy fuck! Holy shit! Holy fuck! What the fuck is that? As the last of the attack has fallen, the elf turns to you. The danger almost gone from his smooth face. I feel like that was a bit broken. Um. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your time and assistance with that awkward situation. You're welcome. Courtesy is a rare pleasure in these parts. Though your accent suggests that you are no more local than I. To be fair, I'm giving the locals the same accent, basically, most of the time. No? Okay. He straightens his hood and you note the remains of a fraying embroidery in his gloves. His boots are caked with the dirt of many months but the leather belt beneath is it is sturdy and fine. Well, I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Aloth Corvuser, at your service. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a wizard by training, and an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire. And both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. And how exactly did you come to be here? Uh, I was trying with a caravan, but we were separated near some ruins. In Gwythan ruins? Oh, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. 
In half the locals would arrest you for trespassing and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious. What exactly did you find there? Several of the figures operating a strange machine. Out of goggles at you silently, apparently assessing your earnestness, finally gives you a clipped awkward laugh. You do manage to find yourself in rather interesting predicaments. Just how did you manage to cross these three drunks? I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. It doesn't help that people in these parts remember their war with Adir like it was yesterday. You did tell one that one man to go fuck his sister. Ah, that. And um, <clears throat> as I tried to tell them, they misheard me. Happens all too easily after a few pints, and the accent doesn't help. I heard the same thing. For just a moment, he looks as if he's about to say something else. His expression brightens with mischief, but before he can speak, he forces a tight smile, biting his lips so hard you expect to see blood. Finally, his face relaxes and he shakes his head. I should speak more clearly next time. My apologies. What are you doing in Gildedvale? An excellent question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expectant wife. But I take it that's a familiar tale. And you? Uh, I've been experiencing strange things of late. I'm looking for an expert on souls. Indeed. The local lord has searched far and wide for similar specialists. He has rid himself of them almost as desperately. Wait, are those all soul specialists? What? Okay. You don't exactly look like a settler. Begging your pardon, but neither do you. Yet, circumstances can find a person in the strangest of places. Alright, I'll get going then. As should I, given recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. All right, let's go. Excellent. I shall follow you. Okay, let's loot these corpses I made. Uh, okay, you know, those things here, those can't be considered corpses. Those are more like lumps of flesh now. Um, you know, it was worth the chant, worth the shot. All right, in villages. Hopefully no more dead villagers. Hello. Hail and well met. Oh, hello and welcome to the... Oh, it's you, then for told us what you did for him. It's such a relief to have him back. I can't thank you enough. Consider yourself a favorite of the house. Discount and... Discounts and drinks, rooms... Uh, Denfrey said he wanted to whip up something nice for you. He's already back to work in the kitchen. So what would you like? Uh, I'd like to know more about the Black Hound. Really? Well, let me see. The actual building's been here for years, uh, but the Black Hound's fairly new. We got a lot of new faces in here, fewer than we used to, I'll admit. Then we're, then we're the big draw. I'm sure we'll get the big crowds again in no time. I used to work the tables, actually, until the old owner up and left. Nobody's sure what happened to him. Even left this poor hound behind. That's the name, see, the Black Hound. I'm sti it's still up, sitting upstairs, spying after him, poor old girl. Place ended up in my hands somehow. Uh, my very own in <laughs> a lot of hard working involved, but it's been worth it so far Please sit where you like uh, would you like a drink or a room? Uh, we have two available at the moment I'm afraid we can't offer much by way of a good meal today Unless you're fond of cold porridge. Hey, you said You know you said that the owner is currently not the owner the chef is currently making me some good food something much better better even not much feather than gold porridge. Anyway, what do we have for sale? Can I sell everything in my stash? Can I? Um. <clears throat> uh, does he really not have any fund limit or anything? Anyway, uh, time to roll up again. Nice. Now, lore. I think I'm gonna go with more lore. 
Um, what was athletics? Right, athletics is also pretty good. So took a little bit of that. Guess I can take that one point of stealth as well now. <gasps> Ooh. Looks like we got access to some new spells. But no new talents to sell. Alright, cool. Now, um, just in case. Elfie boy, what are you wearing? Your own personal leather armor. And your own personal hood, which looks... Quite the fuck, I think. I guess it works. I'm gonna try this cape instead. It seems to work better with the hood that you're going with. Though to be fa be fair, you look better without the hood. Oh, but what about, about the open helm? That's an absolutely ridiculous idea. What about this one? That kind of looks cool, but I think it's a no. Here you go. You're sticking hatless. You don't need no hat. Ooh, and you have a repair. You rip... Yeah, that thing. Nifty. Now, I'm gonna allow you to carry a torch. Should you go with the repair option. Where do you equip the book? There's your grimoire. Oh, hello. That's cool. That's really actually quite interesting. Good. Uh, so only the wizards get a grimoire slot? How do you enchant this? Well. With money, apparently. And ingredients. So that's what we're collecting those for. Good to know. Very good to know. Alright, uh, let's trade some Gods more. Keep you. I've got more shite to sell. That I can rid myself of. You're selling a lot of my previous shite now. Anyway, here's my stash. Um... Take it all. No one uses the scale man now, does it? Do they? No? Okay. Ooh, no, these, these. I suppose these are not for sale. These, on the other hand, are. And these are not for sale, so. Thanks for all the money. Ooh, you're selling adventurers? Really? Okay, that's that's kind of interesting. So it's possible yeah. to just hire the fort-looking adventurers. Cool, dude. How you doing? Ah, it's you, my savior. It's so good to be back. I forgot your accent. Do not think I will let this go unrewarded. I have decided that you have earned that uh, right to learn one of my lo most lo closely guarded secrets, my dearest recipe. After this, you will eat nothing else. A savory pie to keep you hale and hearty. May it serve you well in your travels. Okay. Alright, uh, whom can we find here? More villages. Well, most, hopefully. No one who wants to pick a fight. Uh, or, actually, I'm hoping that someone wants to pick a fight. Because then we can make another couple of people literally explode into cubes. Because that's really nice. Hello. As you knew, you feel a vibrant history contained in the essence of this woman's soul. Voices from its past seem to call out to you. Reach out for the soul. You see a woman emptying her satchel onto her bed, taking stock of her inventory, potions, bandages, tinctures, and herbs scattered throughout her room haphazardly. She binds her lip, head into the side, considering. She begins to back one item after the other, carefully deliberation, undercut by shaking hands. Each item has a clearly marked place, but no matter how she repacks it, she isn't satisfied. The shaking worsens as she empties it out once more, one hand held up to her mouth. Tears eke from her eyes as she gives up all semblance of order, shows everything she can in the satchel, grabbing it and running out of the bare house. Straightening her back, she walks to the docks, chin high, eyes hard and red, a gangly young elf offers his condolences, but she can't see him for the ocean ahead of her. 
She wants the docs offering her services as a doctor to any who will listen. Anyone now heading out on high tide. Less than an hour later, she watches her childhood disappear in the distance, a tiny speck of an island, and tries not to jump. Step back. So we can't actually talk to her? As you near, you feel a vibrant history contained in the essence of this man's soul. You see a group of young men standing around the makeshift practice target. This man standing in the middle of them explains the construction and use of a bow. He holds it up, pointing out each part as he speaks about it and what it does. He then walks away from the target, telling them to remain where they are, and takes his, his place about 200 feet away. He carefully lines up his shot, explaining what he is doing as he does, and lets the arrow fly. It hits the target dead center, much to the surprise and the light of the boys near it. He smiles, walking towards the boys, talking about proper stance and how the most, e how the most effective hold the bow. A noise comes from the tree line near the practice venue and it stops, scanning the woods, blue eyes squinting against the sun. A shadow moves, making its way through the forest behind them. He throws an arrow and dines up the shot, carefully tracking the motion of the hidden creature. Losing the arrow, he wastes no time and quickly grabs another. The boy spins and watches the arrow fly into the forest immediately dust among the trees. There is a sudden explosive movement in the undergrowth as a deer erupts from the tree line running uh, across the edge of the clearing. The boys laugh, turning to joke with the man about his lousy shot. They stop talking, seeing him holding the bow and leading the deer with a knocked arrow. They drop to the ground as he loses this last arrow which flies through and strikes the deer right behind its shoulder, beating hard and lungs and dropping it dead almost immediately. The boys stare at the deer for a few seconds and slowly, then slowly turn to look at the man. You found respect in their eyes. He smiles again and breathes a quiet sigh of relief. Okay, oh, that was unexpected. What's this then? Oh, oh. It looks like food. Let's steal whatever is on the tables. Because you know that makes perfect sense. What are carousers? Grab a drink, friend. Not much house worth in this town. Says the woman from Tain. Hey, we said we wouldn't mention Tain. What's the story told again with the tall fellow and the wee ass? You mean the Omama boy and the Orland Kevin boy? Omama oh, captain and the Orland Kevin boy, even. Okay, never mind. And here we have lots of named people again. Let's sneak into this room. I am lying. I did not sneak. Ooh, no picks. Apparently, cannot pick this because. Oh, can I? Yeah. Give it a try. But yeah. Give it a try. Finished. I just want to see what else is in here. Mo Another repair, some bad armor. Yeah, two at least that. You know what? Yeah. Lad. Yeah, uh, you probably don't count as a lad. Now, uh, I have this fancy idea that maybe you might look fabulous with this hat. That takes away your hair. Nah, we give it for later though, but this does look Indeed. fabulous. Yeah. Yes. Come on now. Did they pick both of you? Ignore the name folk for now. Come and take a look in this room. Where there is an in guest. Ooh, yeah, I'm not gonna touch that one. Remember to remind me that mechanics are important. The hound stares at the covered window, head cocked as if waiting to hear a particular sound. It looks up when you approach it, finds a low note, tail wagging slightly. Pet the dog. The dog's tail dumps happily against the floorboards. <coughs> Sorry, girl. I don't think he's coming back. You can come with me. Maybe we'll find him on the way. Okay. Now, do you have an inventory slot for a bet? No, you don't. So, let's use the Black Hound instead of the Space Pig for now. Mm. Because it looks less like a space pig. 
Ah, another soul. We'll look at that next time. So thanks for watching, guys. See you then.